Can you believe Shadowgun came out 10 years ago? <laughs> 2011 seems like a decade ago. Oh wait, it was. So many awesome events happened to me that year. I was crushing over Ryan Gosling in the movie Drive. I was beating Gotham thugs in Arkham City. And I was all up in my feelings while listening to Adele. Oh, and I met my wife that year. Let's just tell her I mentioned that first. 2011 seemed like a turning point for mobile games. It was a time when developers began to realize the importance of premium titles on mobile devices. I mean, just the year before, Infinity Blade turned heads, and gamers started to see the awesome experiences mobile games can offer. Insert Shadowgun, a game that promised a console-like experience in the palm of our sweaty hands. And for the most part, it achieved that. Madfinger Games not only spawned a franchise, but also cemented themselves as a top-tier mobile game developer, so let's take a beefy testosterone trip down memory lane. Join me for a retrospective experience as I play Shadowgun 10 years later. Alright, let's tune in. Before we get started, listen to this very important message from our sponsor. Tiny Little Games is a free source of random mobile game gibberish. Do you like hot takes on current mobile games? Are you a person who desires brain-melting commentary? Then go ahead and click that subscribe button and ring that notification bell, because Tiny Little Games offers all those things and so much more. Alright, back to the video. Shadowgun is the epitome of 2011 video games. Beefy buff dudes shooting beefy buff alien dudes, complete with cover shooting and stoic movements through empty corridors and of course cheesy one-liners for those that can appreciate cheesy one-liners. We are being jammed. Which means the good doctor is expecting us. Are you enjoying my hospitality, Mr. Slade? The bad guy always has something clever to say. Playing Shadowgun all these years later is like unearthing a time capsule only to find a Gears of War action figure missing a leg. It may not be the best cover shooter ever to grace the world of gaming, yet it is one of the best shooters to grace mobile devices. The gameplay is as simple as simple can get. Take cover, blast enemies in the face, progress through the level, solve simplistic puzzles, take cover, and blast scumbags in the face. The concept was to provide a more premium experience for mobile gamers, and it did just that, with a few shortcomings that were bound to occur. Movement is slow and methodical. I can't even count the amount of times I wish I could actually run, and the camera could definitely use some polish. Yet that doesn't take away from the overall fun. Shadowgun is a third-person shooter that accomplishes just enough fun factor to keep me invested. It's the equivalent of an explosion-filled action movie, one with strengths that far outshine any weaknesses. Let's talk about some aspects I forgot about over the past 10 years. Shadowgun can be rage-inducing difficult. That game over screen makes me want to split my phone in two. Some of this is due to the controls, yet most is due to mastering the cover and dodge mechanics. Mastering the flow of the game is both a reward and an audible, that's right mutter effort, take that. I also forgot how straightforward and pun filled the story is. In fact, I'm currently playing and I can't remember what the story is. Blast alien scum in the face while Cortana gives you the deets? There should be a heliport near your location with a high energy beacon. That could work. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Alright, I don't want to spend this whole video talking about the gameplay, as it's pretty much a bare-bones third-person cover shooter. Yet that bare-bonesness is why it's so approachable. It wears the familiar mechanics like a badge of honor, and it's better for it. Later, I want to discuss what I would like to see in a sequel, but first, let's talk about the graphics. Like a fine wine, Shadowgun has aged in a barrel only to be popped open for special occasions. The graphics surprisingly hold up very well. Sure, the color scheme is a bland brown that could be more vivid, even the Unreal Engine blockiness has progressed as of late, and okay, the textures could use a touch-up, but call me a toupee on a beefy bald head. These graphics stand the test of time. Even by today's standards, I feel Shadowgun still puts other mobile offerings to shame. Maybe it's the atmospheric particle effects, or the cool jumping over cover animations. Like I mentioned before, these are not the most up-to-date visuals, yet let's put it into perspective. Take a 10-year-old game and compare it to a more recent release. Deus Ex Human Revolution came out in 2011. Let's compare that to, I don't know, let's say Cyberpunk 2077? Now I'm talking graphically, not glitchy or fun factor. Obviously 2077 has a more refined graphical presentation, so comparing Shadowgun to, let's say, scratch that, as there are too many mobile games to search through. The point I'm trying to make is that Shadowgun was far ahead of its time in art style, that it still holds a candle to more recent releases. Alright, enough already. You've all seen this game, you've heard of it, heck, you've played the many spawns this game created. Madfinger has brought us Shadowgun Legends, a superb first-person shooter set in the 
Shadowgun universe. They also brought us Shadowgun War Games, a less superb multiplayer shooter set in the Shadowgun universe. What I really want to say in this retrospective is that Madfinger has yet to make a traditional sequel to Shadowgun. Sure, they released an expansion called Leftover, but that was basically more the same, like actual leftovers. Then they made Shadowgun Dead Zone, which filled the multiplayer void the original didn't have. But I'm talking about a basketballs to the wall sequel. I'm talking Shadowgun 2. I want Madfinger to go all in, take things to the next level, more open environments, less closed in corridors, give us an upgrade system. I want to level up the beef on my beefy dude. Something like armor add-ons or weapon skills, maybe even a complete overhaul of the combat. Keep the cover shooting, but make the movements more fluid. Adjust the camera, and for Pete's sake, give us an option to run. I'll also take a more intriguing story, a variation in enemies, and to top it all off, show us what Shadowgun graphics can achieve on current mobile devices. Imagine something close to Gears 5. Now that would be a dream come true. And I hate to say this, but in today's market I need to. For the love of Odin, do not make it free to play. The original is a premium game with a price tag. Shadowgun 2 should be no less. The chances that Madfinger will see this video is very, very low. But if anyone is paying attention, I can assure you, Shadowgun 2 would be welcomed by the masses. You can put me in the category of the fry meme. Just take my money already. Now back to Shadowgun. If any of you have the opportunity to experience this 10-year-old gem, I say go for it. Just understand it's a game that represents the time it was made, and in turn you will appreciate the action-packed fun Shadowgun provides. So as this video comes to an end, I will cherish the memories of Shadowgun, as well as compliment it for how well it holds up. In summary, Shadowgun 10 years later is a blast to play. As always, thanks for watching Tiny Little Games. Please subscribe to support my channel, like for more videos, and ring that notification bell for video updates. Fun fact, I like to think the Shadowgun dude is me. We have the same hairstyle.